really pleased to be joined again by Benny. Um, thanks again for your time here. My pleasure um, to see you. Tell me a little bit more about Nanog Free in a, in a bit more detail. Um, tell, me, tell me exactly what it is. Okay. Well, the we use Nano Ink, which is this special water-based ink that's made of nano pigments, and we have ink injectors, and they actually digitize the ink, so they eject microscopic droplets, billions of microscopic droplets onto a moving belt, like a conveyor belt. But this belt is a very special kind of blanket and it's heated. So when the drops land on the blanket, they spread to their correct size and they dry out on the blanket. As they dry, they get super thin, down to 500 nanometers in, in thickness. So by the time the conveyor gets all the way to the end of the machine, it's now taken up to eight colors, which have created the entire digital image. This is a heated blanket, and the ink has, now that it's dry, has the properties of a hot melt adhesive. And all it has to do is kiss the surface of the paper or the plastic film, and it 100% transfers while bonding tenaciously to the substrate. So you never have, to, there's no water that gets into the paper, you don't have any post-drying, it's immediately hard and abrasion resistance, a resistance so you can process the paper immediately after printing it, even in very aggressive environments, and it's a very efficient high-speed process. Excellent, and in terms of generating that heat for the blanket, what's it like in terms of energy usage? Well, because, of course, you have to warm up the blanket to begin with, mm -hmm. but most of the energy coming out is in order to dry the water. Now, that's true for inkjet processes as well. The difference is, with inkjet, you inject the, inject the water into the paper, and then you have to heat up the water and the paper, and that takes about twice as much energy. Excellent. Um, and so being a water-based ink, um, yeah. does that have any other environmental benefits well, from, from your perspective? I mean, water is everything. When people ask us, why didn't we do nano ink with UV or with solvent? And the answer is very simple. Even if our customers could afford it, our planet can't afford it. The only ink for the future of this industry has to be water-based. And I believe that in the not-too-distant future, all inks in this industry will be water-based. They have to be. We can't afford to have solvents and VOCs and environmental issues because we're, we're communicating with paper. Fantastic. Thank you, Benny. That's brilliant. Thank I really you. appreciate you talking us through that.